guys welcome to another episode of the delicious cooking series today I'm gonna to show you how to make banga soup also popularly known as ofe aku this is a popular Nigerian local delicacy that is usually enjoyed with some rice or starch or basically any swallow of your toys my recipe is quite simple to make and I'm going to show you how to make it from the palm kernel extract I already have the abanga recipe on this channel but I showed you how to make it using the store-bought extra but sometimes you, you do not really get all that freshness of the palm kernel from it if you're using the store-bought one so today I'm going to show you how to make it using the fresh palm fruit you don't need no mortar or pestle because I know that's that's um, one major problem that a lot of people have with making banga soup from scratch this recipe uses a food processor to extract the um to remove the skin of the palm fruit from you will see what i'm talking about when we start okay so yeah if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet this is the time to hit the subscribe button and the bell just right beside so you can join our family and be a part of the delicious family i mean what are you waiting for it's absolutely free it's not gonna cost you anything you have everything to gain and nothing to lose okay <laughs> and go ahead and like this video after watching it okay all right guys let's get right into this banga making action to make the banga soup, you need some fresh pemkano fruits, some cooked meats, smoked fish, onions and peppers, some spices, scent leaves and salt. The full ingredient list is in the description box down below, so be sure to check it out, okay? Start by placing the pemkano fruits in a pot along with some water to cover the entire surface. Then cover the pot and leave to cook for 20 to 25 minutes just to soften up the fruit. Next, when the palm kernel fruit is soft, separate the skin from the seed. The traditional method of doing this is with a mortar and a pestle, but I like to use a food processor to separate mine. Simply pulse a few times and as you pulse, the blades will help separate the skin from the knots. Transfer to a bowl and continue the process till you have separated all of the palm kernel fruits. Afterwards, pour some hot water into the bowl with the palm nuts, enough to cover the entire surface. Use a spoon to mix things around and as you do this, the juice from the palm nuts is extracted into the water that you added. Now I have to transfer to a bigger pot to give me more space to work with. Place a fine sieve over a clean pot, then gently place the palm kernels and the water in the sieve to extract the liquid. The liquid is what we need for the soup. You can add more hot water to the bowl with the palm kernel if you think that there is still some juice left to be extracted from the palm kernel nut, okay? Then place the pot on medium to high heat, cover and leave to boil until the liquid has reduced by half. Meanwhile, blend the tatashi, also known as chili red bell peppers, some fresh peppers, onions, okwei. This is a very popular local seasoning used in making most um, traditional Igbo soups. I'm also adding some crayfish powder and a little water to help make the blending process easy. Then blend until completely pureed. When the palm kernel broth has reduced by half, pour the blended mixture into the pot along with any cooked meat of your choice. I use some goat meat also known as chevron and then some cow skin also known as pomo for mine. Also add the dried fish at this point as well. I cleaned and shredded it before adding. To season, simply add two seasoning cubes. I added some more crayfish powder and then just a sprinkle of salt. Mix thoroughly to combine. I added some cameroon pepper as well for some extra heat. Mm -hmm. 
Cover the pot again and allow to cook for another 10 to 12 minutes. As it cooks, it starts to thicken up. While it is cooking, chop up some scent leaves. Lay the leaves over each other, roll and use a sharp knife to cut in shreds. When the soup has thickened up to your desired consistency, add the scent leaves, also properly known as uchuan in Igbo language. Stir to combine one last time, then take off the heat immediately and serve on a plate. Now that's how you make a yummy pot of banja soup from scratch. So how easy was it to make banga soup? Speedy, 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 right? So I have banga, my banga soup here with some oatmeal swallow. Earlier in the week, I shared a video on how to make oatmeal swallow. If you haven't watched that video yet, you should because it's a healthy swallow option. I'm gonna put the link down in the description box so you can check it out, okay? Yeah, so let's give this a taste. You can enjoy your banga soup, like I said earlier, with some swallow, with rice, with starch, even with some pasta and beans, I've tried it before and I totally loved it. So just see banga soup as an alternative or a substitute for your usual tomato stew. But just this one is made with palm kernel. Mm. The aroma is amazing. Um, the taste, like, I love the natural taste of the palm nuts. Like, there's always a really big difference between the banga soup made from fresh palm kernels and the one made from but from canal extract. I love this one so much. One more taste. Mm. You definitely should try out this recipe. And if you would, please do not forget to take pictures and upload on your Instagram and Facebook stories and tag me as well. I always love to see all of your creations. Alright guys, I'll see you next time with another mouth-watering and delicious recipe. Until then, it was very kind to one another. Love yourself generously and if you have a fun fact cooking, signing out right now. Like this soup is so good for guys. Like <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Cheers. <laughs>